Hi guys, hope you're all well and um, welcome to another kit review. So today we're going to be having a look at a kit from Academy. It is uh, in 140A scale. It is their IL2 Sturmovic and this is the ski equipped early version. So the early version only had the pilot. The next version of the IL2 had a pilot and a uh, rear gunner. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. Box obviously is winter time in Russia, spying rush um, rockets off, and it looks like it's flying over the top of a knocked out Tiger One. Okay, so that's the front of the box. Let's have a look at the sides. So on the side, you've got photos of the actual model itself made up painted uh, and weathered as you can tell okay um, reproduction tests here you can read that probably they misspelled early how's that okay that's an interesting must be the Russian way of speaking <laughs> sorry guys don't mean to be that that's okay uh, yep did they yes they even misbelted on the top as well okay so on the other side we've got your typical warnings in 10 different languages not included cement and glue as usual 14 years and up okay so there's um, academies made in Korea copyright 2012 okay on the side you've got the paints so that's very handy. If a lot of kids came like that, you could go, oh, I've got that, I've got that, but I haven't got that, I'll buy it right now. Anyway, so that's Academy. What have we got? So Life Color, Humbrol, Testers, Ravel, Vallejo. Is that GSI Cruise, whatever it is? Yes, so that's brilliant. I wish they'd all do that. Anyway, so that's Sides. Uh, exactly the same sorry that's a bit of a spin all right so let's have a look and see what's in the box okay put that over there instructions okay same again paints on the front brilliant love it so easy to go tick 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 I've got that I haven't got that and we'll have a look at those in a minute one screw, oh, one bag, I mean, not through. You know what I mean. Okay, so wings, fuselage, one bag of clears, they look pretty good. One bag of the rest of it, which is tiles, interior, cockpit, wheels, and propeller bombs. Yeah, not too bad. What else have we got? Uh, you will need these tools to complete it in Korean. Decals. Nice in an open bag, which is even better, so you don't have to tear into it. They still look good. 2012 Academy. Okay, that's cool. And another warning sheet. Alright, so. Let's get rid of this. And let's have a look at the instructions. Let me see. Right, instructions. Okay, so, as I said, colour call-outs. You get uh, two, four, six, eight, nine colour call-outs on this. So that's pretty easy. Variety of manufacturers, even better. Usual warnings. Okay, and... Where are you? Ah, there you are. There's one for you. This is the sprue layout, but these are actual photos of the sprues, not drawings, actual photos. So there are some, a couple of unused parts, but not many. So that's pretty good. Um, it does have wheels in it, which means if you wanted to, you could actually make it the wheeled version and not the ski version. So that's okay. I like that. All right. So 
Where do we start? Okay, cockpit, naturally. Has only got the pilot's cockpit, doesn't have a rear gunner. This is, like I said, the early version, so easy to put together. Fairly detailed as well, I like that. Gives you colour call outs as you go. So, cockpit, a few slide sides. Okay, so basically, engine cowlings. Then you can put the tails on. Right, this is the bottom of the aircraft main spars, okay, and wheel wells. So, cockpit sits into that. And then the whole thing goes together. Wings, um, wheel well covers, and then basically skis. Fairly simple build, fairly straightforward, not much to it. Bombs on the wings or on the, on the main undercarriage, and propeller. So the good part about this is, literally, the whole propeller, okay, is separate, which means you can paint the entire aircraft and then put your propeller on, so you don't have any dramas there. And then copy goes on, which is even better. So paint the whole thing, copy it, and propeller separate. Beautiful, like it. And then of course you've just got. Here's your colour scheme, so basic camouflage, and then you've got here the uh, snow camouflage, overall white one. So you can make that as drab as you want to be, depending on whether you want a brand new white painted one, or one that's been around for a while. And that's it. That is the instructions for the IL-2, so bear with me. I will take the sprues out of the bag and then we'll have a look at those. Okay, so everything's out of the bags and uh, time to have a good look at what we've got. Alright, so first off, let's have a look. These are the tickles. Fairly sharp. Not too much excess on these and uh, yeah they look um, nice in fact you've even got decals for the pilots seat belts which is awesome I like that so I'll give you a still of that as usual I will give you stills as we go through each sprue through each sprue so first sprue we'll have a look at is this one, fuselage, okay, so it looks really nice, recess panel lines, very nice detail, tail wheel, which you won't use because <laughs> it's a ski version, but like I said, you can always put the tail wheel and the main wheels on and forget about skis, alright, that's an easy one, so these look to be like unused parts, Look like rocket rails. Yes, I would say definitely rocket rails. Maybe they are used parts. I'll have to check. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, let's have a look. I'll take this one around here. Some really nice detail, cockpit detail. All right. So a lot of manufacturers don't put that in for one reason or another. Possibly because you don't see it, but it always helps just in case you want to keep the cockpit open. So yeah, I like that. That's nice. Good crisp, not much in the way of flash on that. Next we've got, okay, so basic undercarriage and the skis, all right. So that's the bottom of it, that's the top, these are the skis, like I said, even that's the tail ski. All right. So the skis are a separate part, so you can forget about that if you want to. Use wheels or 
be different and make it a ski version. I might be different and go for the ski version. How about that? So what's next? All right, wings. So, wings. This is the top. Nice recess panel lines, not too deep. Fixed ailerons. I guess you can't have everything. But the detail, it's very crisp. And um, yeah. It is actually really, really crisp, especially for around the little hatches and things like fuel hatches and things on the wing. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. And not bad at all. And now we'll have a look at the bottom. Same again. Okay. Really crisp detail. Fixed ailerons, flaps, etc. But really sharp where the little access hatches are. I don't know if you can see. You'll see in the close up anyway. That's really nice detail. Really nice. I like that. So that's the bottom wing. So what we've got next is propeller, okay, propeller boss, bombs, engine cowlings, exhaust pipes, again, nice crisp lines, nice detail, really nice detail on the bombs, propeller looks a little bit of flash maybe, but um, a little bit of cleanup, but nothing serious. I love the bomb. It's really sharp detail, especially the detonator on the end. So that looks pretty good. So far, I've seen nothing in the way of major flash. Maybe a little bit of cleanup, but really nothing. The next sprue is this one. Okay, so bottom of the aircraft, really nice crisp detail, really good panel lines, same goes for the tails. Really, really crisp, okay. Nice, no flash. Tires, so you've got fully round, and you've got weighted tyres. How's that for a choice? So not only do you get skis, but you also get a choice of tyres. So I love it. I'm loving this aircraft so far. Very simple construction, but the detail is crisp. And um, seriously, I can't see any major flash. So I'm really loving this kit. And last, no, not last through, but almost last through. Okay, so this is your undercarriage, cockpit interior, okay, main spa interior and uh, wheel well in interiors, and just your radio aerials and fittings, etc., for the cockpit. All right, so. Pilot's pedals, really nice detail. Really nice, there's a lot of detail on this aircraft. And um, yeah, no flash. Couple of pips and things like this. A little bit of flash on things, but nothing more than anyone else's. For 2012, 
this is actually a really nice kit. And last sprue, very last sprue. And unusually, this is the clear. There is your instrument panel. Instrument panel's a clear part, but that's most unusual. So I'm not sure why they did that, but you know what? If you were clever about your painting, paint behind the instruments, and the front, it would look like you've got glass in the instruments. As for that, the cockpit canopy itself, really nice and clear. See, it's unusual that they've used clear parts for some of the main bodywork that would normally be just straight plastic. So, and it all looks really clear, and I do like the instruments. All right, so that's the sprues, and that basically brings us to the end. Of this kit review. So there you have it, 148 scale Academy IL2 Stomavik whiskies. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with this kit. The detail is quite sharp and crisp and a very little flash. There's not much to it, but that's fine. That just means it's going to be an easy build. It means you can concentrate on actually painting it up and making it look pretty decent. I like it. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of this review. And um, as usual, until next time, take care.